Hey there, this is Chris Love from the Information Lab and I'm here to talk to you about my Good to Great series again. Today I wanted to run through action filters in Tableau and show you some advanced steps that we can do just to improve the functionality of them. I've produced a dashboard here and one of the things that I want to do, encourage you to do when you're working through these podcasts is just to take a moment just to pause the video when I've shown you the end result and then take some steps to reproduce the dashboard as you think you might do it. See if you have any problems, then come back and try my steps and see whether they help you solve the problems that you run into. Really good way of learning Tableau. Let me talk you through my dashboard. I have a state selector here which is a map and a time series that runs through the sales at the moment that's showing all states as I select a new state. It's going to change the selection for that state to show how the sales have moved over time just for that state. And also it's going to show me the top five city sales again just for that state. So if I zoom, zoom off and click off, we've no longer got a selection for the top five cities. That's clear. That requires a selection. But this is now zoomed back to the overall view is drilled out and is showing the whole US. Let's come down to Texas and show you what happens again. Sales for Texas over time, top five cities. Click off, this disappears, this moves back to the whole US. I recommend now you pause the video and just have a go at recreating this as best you can. Come back and let's have a go at creating it ourselves. So hopefully you did that. Now let's have a go at creating it. The first one we want is our map selector. So I'm going to call this a map selector view. Really easy to create this. Double click, drop sales onto color. Beautiful. Let's just change the color here. Change it to blue because I do prefer a blue map rather than a green one. Next sheet, hold down right mouse button. Order date onto columns and select continuous months. Sales onto rows. This gives our trend. This is sales timeline. New sheet. Finally, we want that list of top five cities. City, sales. It's all the top to bottom. Hold down control on the city and move it onto your filters and then select the top five by sales. Perfect, it's showing the whole US at the minute. We can fix that in a moment. Let's build a dashboard. One, two, three. I'm just gonna increase the size of that. Look at this, we're getting there. We now need to start building up our filters. However, we want to do the filters differently when we click on the map in terms of what happens when we clear them. When we clear this filter, we want to clear, we want to move our sales back up to the US, but we want to clear this. So two different actions going on there in terms of what happens when we clear that filter. So we're going to have to create two different filters. Let's come to the dashboard menu and select actions. First, we'll add our map to line chart. We're going to click on the map selector, fire a select and have it affect. But what I'd like to do is affect both our map and our sales. And I want, when I clear the selection, I want it to show all values. Does that work? Well, this is going to select our sales timeline. What it's not doing is zooming at the top here to our state. Let's go back to the original. See the difference? So our state and our map isn't being influenced despite ticking this box. How do we fix that? What's important to realize is what's happened when we built that action filter. What's happened is Tableau has dropped a set onto our filters automatically, and that's an action set. 
but it hasn't done is put one just here. Really quick tip if you want it to affect the original sheet, which Tableau won't do by default, is to apply to worksheets and manually select that map selector sheet. And I come back. Perfect, that's doing it. So next step, we now want this to select our top five cities. However, we want it to clear it when it's not selected. So let's create an action for that. Map to top five. We want to, again, click on our map selector using a select and have it only affect the top five. This time, exclude all the values when we clear the selection. Perfect. When we clear that, this now disappears, which is exactly the behavior we wanted in this demonstration. However, what's happening here? We've only got two cities, not the top five. In fact, when we click on Texas, we've got no cities. The reason for this is that Los Angeles and San Francisco happen to be in the original top five sales in the country. Tableau is doing the filtering on our action, then apply it the filter on the top five. I'll, I'll say that again. It's applying the top five filter, sorry. It's applying that first, then it's filtering to our state. And that's always the same. Whenever you've got a top filter happening just here, it's going to do that first before it does any filters, action or not. And this is a common situation we, have, we, we get into when we're applying filters to top five or top X calculations. It's a really easy way to get around that. And that's to right click on the filter. In this case, it's an action filter. It would be the same if it was a normal filter. And we add to context. What that means is that this filter moves to the top it turns grey to give a nice, real visual indication that something different is happening. And when it's moved to context, the action filter will actually be applied first. So we're now filtering to the state of California. And we're doing that. Tableau is building a temporary table of the results of that as it fetches it from the data source. That temporary table is now being filtered to get the top five. And that's very different to what was happening before, where Tableau was getting the top five because the, the filter wasn't on context, it was then filtering it to stay. Really important concept to get around when you're thinking about nested filtering and top five filtering. Come back to our dashboard. You can see we've got it working exactly the way we want it now, exactly as in the demonstration. That's all I want to go through, just some real quick tips of interacting with these action filters that you might not have seen as you've been creating your own action filters on there. Have a play with them. Really good ways of adding to context or applying to your own worksheets. That's all the tips I've got for this time, but I will be back with more, I promise. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.